Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Mutero. So everybody, I am here doing a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective, so it's not going to be for all of you though, okay? Um, just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. You guys know the drill. I tell you this all day, right? All day, every day. Don't try to force a reading into your world, okay? <laughs> Don't do that. It's got to have like a, a free-flowing feeling to it, okay? Um, and thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. I am so appreciative of all of your support. All right, so everybody, what I'm seeing here is um, a masculine energy who just feels trapped. They just feel stuck, trapped. Um, with this karmic Lily Lou, Lily Lou, doesn't she look pleasant? This karmic is doing nothing but showing their teeth very, very angry, like lashing out at your person. They, they have moments of um, anger management issues, I think, like just moments of intense anger, lashing out, yelling, showing their teeth, okay, and your masculine just wants to get out of the situation. They just want to get out, but they're feeling very trapped. You know, this dog doesn't have a posable thumb, so they can't open that door. But they, they, it's, and it's almost like this Lily Lou has control over this person, your masculine, right? Who is in a place where they literally are bored to tears. They're, this, this person sitting here like, I can't take this anymore. I really need to get out of here. No, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, just bored. Possibly even overwhelmed. Mentally exhausted. All focus is gone. I feel like they're, well, unless they're focused on you, collective, they're really just focused on going out, getting out. Not just going out, but getting out. It's like all this Lily Lou will give your person is this chewed up nasty rawhide nasty bone. They all they only get breadcrumbs where they are. They're not getting uh, any emotional fulfillment. It looks like they're completely under the control of of this karmic here, and um, and they're angry. They're upset. They're snapping at this person just verbally attacking this person um kind of flipping out here actually flipping out for no reason you know like a little dog bah, 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 bah. you know what i mean that's what this karmic is doing and this person just doesn't want to listen to it anymore they're just so sick of it they want out they want out king of swords here you know i feel like this person is thinking about how they're going to communicate their truth um, putting in a lot of um, a lot of thought, putting a lot of thought into how they're gonna how they're gonna break the news here. I feel like I feel like this person really wants to get out of this situation. I gotta say, here you are. I think you're already leaving the scene. The, this could be your person's energy, though, just wanting to get someplace freaking calmer, where there's some peace and quiet. You know, this is, this is a somebody, this, I can't talk. It's retrograde. It happens to me every single time, you guys. I'm so sorry. This is a person who's really good at communicating. They're thinking about what they want to say, but right now they're not saying anything. They just they just don't want to fight anymore with this. This individual here is just angry at every little thing that they do. Every little thing that they do. It's it's just it's to the point where it's not ridiculous anymore. It's redonkulous now. And that's what this person is just staying in they're just staying in it even though they're they're miserable here you know um so yeah i feel like they want to get to they want to get someplace calmer they need some peace and quiet that's really what i'm feeling like this person needs some peace and quiet because this karmic just will not let up 
The karmic will not let up. This Lily Lou's, this, this dog's not going to quit. This is justice for your person. They chose this and they know it. And I feel like they went and they, yep, they got committed to this person and they're providing for them. That's their karmic justice. Poof. You know, they're like, what have I done? Oh my gosh, I married this thing. I married this person. Did I marry this person? About that, my battery keeps dying on me. Okay, so anyway, yeah, they're like, I married this person. Yeah, they're also providing for them this this Lily Lou. Look at how fancy Lily Lou's got a pretty little Angora sweater, pretty little pink collar, some jewelry here. You know, and look, look what's in the background. A chicken. I'm telling you, Lily Lou is so like I'm I'm hearing like anger management. Okay, that's what I keep hearing in this reading. Anger management. This person needs they don't have any anger management, okay? They're just constantly like this, you know? And your person just can't take it. They're sitting here like, I can't believe I actually got committed to this person. I'm providing for this person, and look at how they're treating me. And they, they went out. They went out of this so bad. What have I done? Yeah, tower moment. This person's realizing... I feel like they're realizing they just sabotaged themselves here when they got committed to this person. They sabotaged themselves. You know, in the beginning, too, of their relationship, this person could, you know, they were thinking logically. They may have thought that, you know, this, uh, this karmic was a very peaceful, calm person. Right? That's, that's what they could have thought. But no, now they're seeing, they're seeing that uh, they're having a major tower moment right now. This is a tower, this is what a tower moment looks like on a face. <laughs> For real, I'm not kidding. This is the face of a tower moment, okay? What have I done? Freaking what? What? Yeah. Yeah. That's their tower, is that realization that they sabotage them. This is self-sabotage. Self-sabotage. Getting committed to somebody that is like this, that doesn't let them out of the house, that uh, they feel stuck with, trapped. Very, very trapped. I mean, they don't even have anywhere to go for peace and quiet. Lily Lou might even make this person pee outside. I don't know. And I feel like your person is afraid. She ins this, this karmic instills fear in people. And that's how they um, keep their reign of terror, basically. But, yeah. They instill fear. So they're, they're, they instill fear in your person. They, they twist their brain and make them think that, uh, that they have all control over them. They get to say when your person goes to the bathroom, when they go out, when they leave the house, if they leave the house, if they can have their chewed up nasty rawhide bone or not. They make the decisions. And whoever crosses their path, this is how they react with any kind of cross of their path. Like, no matter how, how small or large, right? And they just, they want to instill fear into people. That's what this karmic does. And that's how this karmic has gotten your person to stay for so long. And they're realizing now they just sabotage themselves. You know, that's what they're... <laughs> Yeah, and they're like, I got to wrap my mind around this, man. I've been hosed. Yeah, I feel like now they may want to talk to you. 
this this masculine wants to try to maybe find a way to talk to you but i feel like you're already leaving the scene i feel like they're missing their opportunity here being completely immature immature behavior immature uh um communication immature with their wand of passion there freaking immature energy you're taking off you're going to calmer waters man you're like they could even be hearing from someone else here that you're moving moving away some of you could be moving away or have moved away they could be sending out little minions here to look for you losing sleep at night someone here is i feel like this is what this is right here they're back to back they're they're not in a loving kind of looking eye to eye being on the same page kind of situation here this karmic individual intuitively knows intuitively knows that your person wants to go to you okay and your person intuitively knows that this third party situation is not working out and they're missing their opportunity at real love that's exactly what we have here and there's a lot of coldness harshness these two are have turned their backs on each other energetically energetically okay and i feel like this karmic lashes out like that because really deep down inside this is someone who's scared to death of losing this person they're scared you know there's someone who's scared this dog here this is much a much smaller dog than this one the only way to like assert their dominance and and try to keep this person is by making everybody afraid if they if people are afraid to cross them then they may not cross them but i'm telling you it's keeping this karmic up at night because they're still scared they know that your person is in love with with you they know they know this masculine is in love with someone else they're not sleeping together. This, this feminine energy is in a bed alone, night after night, because this masculine is only thinking about you. Yeah. And, and it's to the point where they just, they, they're like, what have I done here? They're, they're sabotaging things for themselves. Both of them are. And you're like, I'm out. Really, this is the only energy that's, that's yours out here. I feel like your person needs to, some peace and quiet too, but I feel like that's your energy. And it's the only card out here for you. Um, all right, what else can you show me here, Divine? Yeah, what did I say? They can't stop thinking about you. You're, this karmic knows it. They know. They know your person is in love with you. See, they see you as the Six of Cups here. They can't stop thinking about you, remembering you, wanting you. You know, they, they just, you're on their mind 24-7, I feel. And this karmic individual, Lily Lou here, she knows it. And she's doing her best to instill fear in everyone around her, especially this masculine. Maybe if she makes this masculine afraid, they'll be unable to make any kind of move. That's the, that's the tactic that she's using right now. And she's totally lashing out. Um, anger, jealousy, envy, but mainly this is fear-driven, honey. This is fear-driven. You can almost taste it. It's so thick. This is a karmic who's afraid to lose this person. And the only way they know how, you know, maybe, maybe when, you know, when they were growing up or something, that's how things were controlled for them. 
people instilling fear into them. Those days are freaking over, man. It's 2022. It's 2022 now. It's time to freaking mature and and be on a do things a better way here, you know? This is only going to last for so long. I used to tell um people at my old job, you know, they would they would be like really angry when I would fight back and stuff, thinking I was going to back down with whatever I had to say. And, and I said, you know, you don't seem to understand. I tell you the truth and I speak my mind because I respect you. You get the correct kind of respect with me. Never, ever is it going to be fear-based. You want to try to push fear-based respect on me? Good luck. Good luck. And that's what this person does. And I think maybe, maybe that's just all that they know. Maybe that's what they had to deal with growing up. Maybe that's what they were taught. Is when you're afraid and you're afraid to lose something, instill fear in everyone so that you can control the situation. It doesn't work that way anymore. It's just, it doesn't work that way anymore. This person's about to reach out to you. They're about to take some kind of action here. They can't stop thinking about you. You're their empress. You're their empress. This fear-based crap, it may have worked for a little while, but it's not working anymore. They're going to get out of the situation one way or another. If this dog has to scratch that door open, they will. You know? And little Mitzi over here will just have to deal with it because the fear-based stuff just doesn't work. It's too bad that this person is scared to death. It really is. You know? I mean, look at it from their point of view. And sad and lonely. You know? And it's cold where they are. But this, this kind of stuff, this kind of behavior... That needs to be tamed. Because nobody is going to be putting up with that for the whole entire cycle, no. Anyway, listen, that's what I've got for this little reading. I hope that helps. I hope it resonates. Um, I do. And thank you um, for, for watching. Uh, if you guys like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? And until next time, Collective, take care of you and peace out.